before you even answer that question, let's, let's walk through a day in your life. Let's say this morning, start to finish. How would that day look? What would that day look like? Well, I'm off work today, so okay, let's Okay, so let's say, do yesterday then. Let's, <laughs> okay, um, all right, so, you know, I get up pretty early now. You know, they said the older you get, the more you're, you don't need an alarm clock because your problems. You know, so we keep. Yeah, so, um, yeah, so I get up, I pray to the Lord to give me some advice for the day. And it's just only to pray that he knows what I'm asking after that. Right. Um, yeah, so I get up, I, you know, chit chat with the person in my house. Um, you know, I check my emails, I check the shift report from the night before, see if there were any issues with the kitchen. Um, you know, I visualize my day, I plan out in my head what it is that I have to do, whether it is that a recipe to write or I have you know, a training to do, whether I'm opening on the stations, whatever. And then I get ready, I go to work. And I go in, I say good evening to everyone. Check on so the that's kitchen. Like what time I do go you go food. in? It depends. I'm, I get in uh, as early as 6 a.m. sometimes, sometimes what? 10, sometimes 9, sometimes oh. 11. Um, when we were at our regular operating hours, I would get in in the evening about three four o'clock and then i'd be leaving anywhere between 1 a.m to 2 a.m mm-hmm. um yeah so you know i get to work i check on the kitchen i i taste what's on the line i speak to the chef you know i'll ask them where they are in their prep list you know check up on the important things with your chicken spring roll um you know our meat ensuring that the temperature is correct people are properly attired you know management things right I go upstairs, I speak to purchasing, I find out if all our goods are in, if we have any non-deliveries, um, you know, what it is that we're expecting. Check up on the 86 list from the night before. I speak to the operations manager because we almost always have some recipe to go over, I always have something outstanding for him. <laughs> um, I speak with a financial controller just to say here, because he's my little friend, you know? Right, right. Or to go and... Um, beg for some equipment or for some money to do whatever. Right. And then I head into the kitchen and uh, since COVID, I've been on the line a lot more. I've been cooking a lot more, which I am not mad about. I'm not mad about at all. Um, but for the most part, I spend a lot of time expediting, especially when it's busy. And that's what I love. I love when it's busy. I love when the pressure is on and you know, the kitchen load and the dishwasher go on the servers, then we'll be hanging on me and yum up them like a cell for them <laughs> all them. You understand? Know, you know, man, the, man, the kitchen back and forth, I was building a vibe and I'm setting the pace, I was building the energy, I was getting the food out. And I love that. Like when you're like that on a Saturday month end, it just give it a vibe. <laughs> like, yeah, that's what I like. That is what I like. Yeah, man, that nice. I, I can tell that you really like that. You can tell the things that you like. I you know. miss it. You are I like miss from it. cheek it's to not cheek. The same. <laughs> yeah, I miss it. It's not the same. You know, we per- we perfume on the oils or whatever. Like, you know, things are a little different now. Business is still good. Don't get me wrong, but you know, now the hustling. Just, but so people are still going out then. Of course, I think persons are so tired of being stuck at home and so whatever opportunity they get to leave the house they go whatever opportunity i get to leave the house i go mm. i go leave this house and i'm not trying to go crazy here face of your tv Big up.